So this is the Costa Defense Squid Retention System, or SRS. They make a couple different versions, or two different versions. This one meant for helmets, and a bigger one meant for rucksacks and your plate carrier to hold whatever gear. It's basically, I've never opened this, so it's supposed to be basically a little, little thing that's got a Velcro on the back. And it's got these little bungees and it holds all your equipment so it doesn't fall off. You can hold your GPS for the plate carrier version. For this one, it's meant to hold on to your night vision. So I got it in basically this bag, just like this. And I think they folded that kind of cool. Anyways. Oh, it's actually, it's completely sealed up. Okay, cool. So I just got this in the mail. So it's got Velcro on the back so it can stick onto your plate carrier. <laughs> surprisingly uh, pretty good strength they come in different colors mine is multicam tropic they've got little elastic pieces meant to hold batteries they say you can hold a cr123 but it's hard to put uh put a battery in there so double a AA and triple a is what it's meant for open up the zipper there should be four of these little things on oh they're all they're all up in there there we go Okay, let's play with that. There we go, there is three. There's a version that comes with four, I believe. It's like something that I'm not gonna make all the time, the four lead version. So I got a Multicam Tropic three lead. And you can obviously just put this wherever you want. Look for that to the back. And then this could maybe hook onto, I don't know, whatever you want. Tie, tie a knot around this list loop right here or something. And after that, even if it Velcro's off, it's not gonna come off. And this one's not bungee on the bottom this is like i don't know some type of cord something that feels a lot more static so i could clearly just put that onto my night vision and then maybe i don't know whatever else you want to put it on it's pretty pretty versatile let's see what the inside looks like good little acosta defense logo right there and it's just like all the stitching, there's not really anything in there. Okay, nice zipper. Looks like they heat shrink wrap on the zipper. I, I don't know why I get, oh, because it makes it silent. That's probably why. All right, so we're just gonna set that right, right there. Let's see what else we got in the bag. So, cost of defense, their business card, I guess. That's cool. A little, little graphic of someone shooting. Neato. So, stickers, I guess. So, this is meant to be a tie-down for, for this. So, I guess you can just kind of figure it out. Just tie it down however you want. You got little rings. So, I'm sure you could r hook the ring onto something. And then you can kind of see they're the keychain kind. So hook it onto something wherever you want on your very busy helmet and all the accessories on it. And then tie it down with that cord. Is this bungee? Let's find out. Yeah, it's bungee. Okay, cool. So let's let's play with that for a sec. We'll just tie it down to this other bungee, I guess. I don't know. Something random, just for the video. Here we go. After that, we just slap it right here, I guess. And then these leads can go wherever they want, I guess. This was a bad place to put it. Um, we'll just put it right there. And then it can hold on to my ear pro or something, I guess. So yeah, you can, I like this, it's pretty cool. It's uh, $60. Um, I guess if you need a retention bungee for your night vision, which is what I bought it for, it's a great, uh, it's a good purchase. It's better than the, the bungees that are on the front of the helmet that they come with. And uh, the hooks on those bungees on the front of the helmet, they're not like, you know, they're like a fish, they're like a fish hook. They they are sharp, and people have hurt their eyes because of it. 
Um, so it's nice to see that they use these uh, these actual clips and not like a hook. Because people don't like those hooks. Most people are okay with them. I just don't like them. You see one person get hurt and you're you decide to not do that, you know? Let's try and see if we can put batteries on here. Alright, let's try and put a CR123 in here. Oh boy, I can already tell this will be a little hard. Or not. <laughs> I got this. Oh yeah, there we go. Way in there. Okay, there's a CR123. Let's try another one. Another CR123. One more CR123. I can see they're like stitching on in, on the inside of this one. Or like the way they fold it in to sew it on. And that gets in my way. So it's not like super hard like they say it is. On their website. There we go. Getting them out might be kind of hard. I guess I'll just squeeze it out like a go-gurt. Oh, that's not working. I'll stick my finger in there. Oh, it's so tight. There we go, little by little. All right, let's try and get this one out. Stick your finger in. Ah, there we go. That's not weird at all. <laughs> okay. Very cool. Uh, for a multicam Tropic, there's like barely any multicam Tropic that I can visually see. Oh well, it's still a very useful thing to have. I can now secure my night vision and not make a super wonky. All right, so let's look at, take those batteries away. Let's look at these washers or what, what are they called? Yeah. Split rings, that's what they're called. I'm looking at the website while simultaneously opening this up. Split rings. Right, so that's all of it for this. So I guess this is SRS squid retention system. Multicam Tropic V4. I don't. I, I guess they made four iterations of this in total. Okay. Okay. Pretty pretty basic. We will try and hook it onto something. I don't know if I want to. I don't think I will. Honestly, I probably won't do that. I'll probably just tie it off on one of these little things right there. And then from there, hook it to my night vision, and it'll be golden. Let's try that now. Let's try that. There we go. And then I guess we'll just hang it off to the side. That way it can hook properly. Ooh, we can put it under the bungees. Wow, so cool. I am like the coolest guy ever. We will lift the bungees on the helmet cover up. That way it doesn't interfere with the Velcro or the Velcro doesn't interface before I want it to. There we go. Oh yeah, that's golden. Heck yeah. All right, let's try it with my PVS-14. All right, let's see how well this clips in. Here we go. I guess I don't need this light on there right now. All right, so. Okay. There we go. One bungee on. Bring it forward. Oh yeah, that's good. I can probably route it through here. That way it doesn't just the bungee doesn't slide across like that. Yeah, we'll route it through those cable channels. Yeah, one thing I've learned is not to use too much bungee because if it does come off accidentally, sometimes it goes down and bounces back up and hits you in the face. So it's good to let it have some amount of drop down or like a way that it swings off to the side instead of bouncing into your face. So, yeah. So I'm glad I don't have to use these bungees anymore with these super sharp hooks that get in your eye. Never happened to me, but uh, happens to other people. So I'm glad I don't have to do that anymore. We'll just stick those back in here. So 
So that's pretty neato. Squid retention system. 60 bucks. Very cool. Obviously they come in like a billion different camouflage patterns and like a billion different colors. Yeah. Uh, they're on Costa Defense's website. They're probably sold somewhere else. Eventually someone will probably make a knockoff. Uh, I suggest buying the real one because I know these are amazing. Uh, yeah, that's all. Goodbye. Oh, oh. <laughs> dang it. That's, that's not in. Get in there, come on. There we go. Woo! My lighting. And come on, come on. Almost. I'm trying to do this on camera. It's hard doing this with a camera in my face. I'm sorry. It's weird you double I'm doubling up and then I'm doubling up again for a basic little knot. And that's probably not a smart idea, so. But then there's too much excess and it doesn't look cool. And looking cool is like the whole reason to get these, right? 